Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or for some of you who are new here just welcome and I hope you will stick around. So as some of you might know recently on my YouTube channel I shared a tutorial on how to make this super pretty flower lace uh, summer top and uh, yeah so if you haven't checked it out uh, then please do and uh, I hope you will try it out but while I was making it uh, one of the thoughts that I had was that it would be super cool to make something even with uh, more flowers and even lacier. So that was kind of my idea and that's something that I'm working on at the moment. And this is where I have got so far. And as you can see, it's super lacy and uh, it has flowers all over the place and uh, I already love how it looks and at the moment I'm somehow somewhere in the middle and I was just thinking that it would be cool to actually show you and teach you how to create this pattern as well because I'm kind of trying to replicate the same thing that I have created here uh, I'm just at the moment working together on all of the pieces so starting with sleeves and body parts and everything and uh, later on I will be putting it together. But yeah, since I'm halfway there, uh, I think that it's like a perfect timing to actually show you how to create this stitch and how to create this pattern. So I hope you will stick around and uh, I promise that it will be fun. It will be easy. I will try to explain everything as much as possible. And uh, also the fun thing about um, creating this kind of uh, pattern is that it doesn't require as much yarn uh, compared to something that is very bulky or very, I don't know, very condensed, if I can say like that. Uh, and it goes very quickly because you're creating a lot of chains, there are a lot of spaces, a lot of gaps. So it really builds up very, very fast. So I'm sure that you will enjoy it and uh, you will have fun. So let's get started. So here are the materials that I'm using for this creation. So here I have some regular cotton 8x4. And if you are interested in specs, here they are, like what kind of needle you should use and how much you can uh, do from this uh, piece of yarn. And in total, I foresee that I will be using approximately 200 grams uh, of this type of yarn. And also I'm using four millimeter hook, even though it's not the suggested size for this type of yarn. I'm just using a bigger one just to create like a looser look. And you will also need some scissors. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create another sleeve. So here I have actually created one already and uh, you will be able to apply this pattern to create a bigger size for front and back panels or to even create bigger sleeves if you wish to create a bigger size. So just to give you a little bit of a backstory, here you can see how the pattern looks starting from the, like the start part until the finishing. So in total, I did uh, three rows of flowers in this way. So here is row one, then we have row two, and then we have row three. And in columns, we also have three flowers. So if you look from here, you have one, two, and three. So this is what we are going to replicate for the second sleeve. And to give you understanding of how many stitches you will have to create uh, for any size of pattern, basically what you have to do is that you have to multiply flowers to find out the correct size that you need. So each flower is 25 uh, stitches, plus we are adding one at the beginning and one at the end. So for sleeve, it is three flowers. So three by 25, it's 20, 75, and then plus two uh, for each side. So in total, it is 77. So that's what we are going to do now. So first step for us is to chain 77. So just do a slip knot and start creating chains. So here I have chained 77 and now when we have done that, uh, just hold your finger at the very last chain and do two additional ones 
which will help us to start crocheting uh, the first row. And then in the first row, we will be doing half double crochets. So yarn over and go through the uh, through the chain where you hold your finger. Grab some yarn and pull it through to have three loops on your hook and then yarn over and uh, pull through all of them. And then just continue until you go all the way through. So in total, you will have to end a uh, first row with 77 half double crochet stitches. Here I have completed first row, which is basically just half double crochets all the way through. And at the end of this row, we will be chaining two and then turning our work so we can start with uh, row two. So for the row two, we will first be doing three double crochets. So just going through, yarning over and going through the first stitch that we have here, grabbing yarn, you're yarning over again and pulling through first two loops and then last two loops. So that's one double crochet. Then doing the same in to create another one, two and three. Once we have done that, we will chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And because we chained eight, we are now going to skip eight stitches at the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And doing, going through the ninth, so like this and doing single crochet in total we will have to do five so one two three four and five so it looks like this and now chaining eight again and because we chained eight we are skipping eight so this is our ninth stitch and there we will be doing double crochet four times. So this is our first one, second, third and fourth. And this is basically first flower, like a half of it. And now we just have to repeat it by first doing eight chains. And then again, because we did eight chains, we are skipping eight and then doing single crochets here. So just repeat the process until you get till the end of this row. Also, second row is now finished. And as you can see, we finished with the three double crochets just the same way as we started. So now we can move on to the third row. So first uh, chain two and turn your work. And then we are going to do one double crochet in the first stitch, then chaining one and skipping one and doing one double crochet here on top of the third stitch from previous row, like this. And then doing three double crochets here in this big gap. So one, two and three. So in total here we have to have four double crochet stitches in a row. And then after this we are chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is where we are now. And then we are going to do three single crochets in the middle of the five that we did before. So skipping one single crochet here and going in the second one. So that's our first. Then in the next stitch, we have our second one. And then in the following, the third one. So it's like that. And then chaining six again. So this is how it looks right now. And next step for us is to do again three double crochets in this big hole. 
and then another one on top of this stitch right after the three double crochets so also on this side we have four double crochets one after another and then we are chaining two and because we chain two we also skip two and doing half uh, and doing double crochet on top of this stitch like this so we have a smaller gap here and now we basically repeat so doing three double crochets in the big gap here and that will create uh, four double crochets in a row and then again chaining six and doing three single crochets here so just repeating the same what we did in the beginning and uh, do that until you reach the end of the row we are done with the row and again we finished it the same way as we started so we finished with four double crochets one chain to create one small gap and one double crochet so like this and now at the end of this row we are going to chain three one two three and then we can turn our work to proceed with the row four so for row four we will start with the triple crochet and to do that we will yarn over twice then going through the first stitch here grabbing some yarn so we have four loops on the hook yarning over and going through two going through two and again through two so it creates like a larger longer stitch and then after this chain four one two three and four and we are going to skip four stitches here so doing a double crochet on top of the last double crochet from previous row and going through there and then in this big gap that we have here we are going to do three double crochets in there so again we have four double crochets in a row and now we are chaining four one two three and four and now we will do a triple crochet in the middle of the single crochets that we have there so yarn over twice go through the middle single crochet grab yarn pull through two pull through two and pull through two so it creates a big gap here and then chain four one two three and four and then do uh, three double crochets here in this gap and another one right after the gap here so this is how it looks and now after this we are going to chain four again two three and four and now we will do a triple crochet here in this gap like that and then again chain four and we will do one double crochet on top of this stitch and three in this gap right after it like this and now we have reached the next flower and again process is the same chain four and do a triple crochet on top of this stitch and after that chain four again and do three double crochets here in there so that would be the following flower and just repeat again until you reach the end so we finished row four with the gap here of a chain of four and then on top of the last stitch we did a triple crochet so now we can proceed with uh, row five and before we do that uh, chain one and then turn your work 
So for this row, we will first start by doing two single crochets. And first one will go on top of the stitch that we have. And the second one will actually go in this big hole. So that's two single crochets. After that, we are chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then the next stitch that we will do is going to be double crochet and we will do it on top of this stitch. Like that. And then three more double crochets in the gap here. So one, two, and three, and then chain two and do another three double crochets in the following gap. Here, and then one more right after the gap on top of this stitch. So it looks like that. And then chain six, and we will do three single crochets. One of them will go here, Uh, the second one will go on top of the triple crochet and the third one in the following gap, like that. And then again, chain six. And once you have chained six, the process starts to repeat. So you do a double crochet here and three more in the gap there. Chain two and do three more in the following gap. And yeah, as you can see, it starts to repeat. So just repeat the same thing that I just taught you until you get till the end. Row five is now finished and we finished it the same way as we started. So we have this big gap uh, chain of six and then two single crochets. So now we can proceed with the row six. And before we do that, uh, chain one at the end, turn your work and we can start. So for this row, we will be starting with three single crochets and two of them will go on top of the single crochets that we have before. And the last uh, third one will go in the gap. So this is first single crochet second and third in the big gap. After that, chain eight. And once you have that, we are skipping all these stitches and doing double crochet on top of this double crochet from previous row. So one goes there, then two double crochets in the small gap from previous row and one more right after the row. So in total we have four double crochets in a row. And once you've done that, chain eight. And now for the next, we are going to do five single crochets. So first one goes here in the big gap. Then following three goes on top of these single crochet stitches from previous row. And last final fifth one goes again in the next big gap. So in total, this gives us five single crochets. And then after that, chain eight again. And do a double crochet on top of this final um, four double crochets in a row that we had. Two in the small gap. and one right after the gap. And from now on, just repeat what we did until you reach the very end. We are now done with this row and we finished the same way as we started. So here we had 
eight chains and then three single crochet stitches. And just to show you where we are so far, uh, as you can see here, uh, we are working on creating these two flowers uh, here. And as you can see, we are kind of in the middle of this flower. So during the following rows that we are going to build up, we will literally just create like a mirror effect of the flower that we have. So all the stitches that we will be working on will basically work in the opposite direction to create the other part of this flower. So uh, what we have to do now is start with the row seven and we will be first chaining one and then turning our work. And for this row, uh, we will be starting by two single crochets. So one and two. Like that. And then chaining six. One, two, three, four, five and six. Once that's done, we will do three double crochets here in the big gap that we have from previous row. So one, two and three. And then one right after the gap. Like that. And then chaining two. And because we chain two, we are skipping two. So doing a double crochet here uh, on top of this stitch like that and then doing three double crochets in the following big gap like that and then chain six again one two three four five and six and as you can see we have reached uh, this flower so now we are going to do three single crochets in the middle of the five that we have from previous row. One, two, and three. And right after that, chain six again. And once you have done that, again, three double crochets in the big gap and one right after the gap. And this is where it starts to repeat because now chain two and skip two. And do three double crochets in the big gap. And this is where we have reached the following flower. So to finish it, just repeat what we just did. And then I will meet you back again at the end of the row. So we finished this row with chain six and two single crochets. And to continue with the next row, we will first chain three and then turning our work. And here in this first stitch, we will be doing triple crochet and right after that chaining four. So this is where I am. And then in this big gap, we are doing three double crochets. And one more after that. Here and then chaining four and again doing a triple crochet here in this smaller gap. And again, four chains. And doing double crochet on top of this stitch. and three more in the following gap. 
like that. So we have four double crochets in a row, then chain four. And do a triple crochet here on top of the three single crochets that we have. Like that. And chain four again. And then do three double crochets in the following big gap. And one right after the gap, so on top of this stitch. So this is how far we are. And then start repeating. Chain four and do a triple crochet in the smaller gap. Chain four again. And do a double crochet on top of this stitch. And then repeat by doing three double crochets here, chain four, one triple crochet on top of here, and so on until you reach the end. So now we are done with row eight. And as you can see, basically flower is already completed, but we just have to do a couple more rows. So uh, as you can see, we finished row eight with the chain of four and triple crochet. And before we are able to proceed with the row nine, I'm going to chain two. And then again, let's turn our work. So for this row, we will start by doing a double crochet in the first stitch that we have. Then chain one and do three double crochets in the big gap. And then one more right after the gap. We are here and then we can chain six and do a single crochet here in this big gap, single crochet on top of this stitch and single crochet in the next big gap. So in total it's three single crochets and then chain six. And then we are skipping some stitches and doing double crochet on top of the, the last double crochet from this part. And then three double crochets in the following bigger gap. Like that, then chain two and do three more double crochets in the following gap. And one more right after the gap on top of this stitch. And then we are going to chain six and do three single crochets. So one goes in the gap, one goes on top of the stitch and one goes in the next gap and then again chain six. And then we again start to repeat by doing double crochet here and then three more in the gap and just the way as we did here in this part and then just complete the row in this way. This is the end of the row nine and we finished it with the four double crochets, chain one to create a smaller gap and one double crochet. And this is basically our pattern because from now on it would, with every following row, uh, it would start to repeat what we have already here. So for the row 10, we will actually be repeating uh, row two. And before you can do that, just chain two and turn your work. And as you can see uh, here, if we look at this flower, for example, during following row here, we would have to chain two in the gap, then one double crochet, then do eight chains, then do single crochets here. Uh, two of them would have to go here in the gaps. And then again, after that, eight double crochets until you reach here, 
uh, two double crochets in the gap, one right after, and so on and so forth. And you can continue with uh, building up how many rows of flowers you want to create. Uh, for sleeves, actually, I did three rows uh, of flowers like this. Um, and yeah, for the body part, uh, I'm going to do four rows of flowers and it's actually going to be four flowers in one row. So here is already finished uh, panel for one of the front or back parts. And as I mentioned, it's much bigger than the sleeve. And here in the row like that, I have four flowers. So one, two, three, and four here. And if you look here uh, in a column, we also have four. So one, two, three, and four here. So that's how it looks. And to create this size, uh, as I was explaining before, you basically have to follow the same process. The only difference is that you would have to do more chains in the beginning. And as I mentioned, each flower is 25. So to have four flowers in one row, multiply 25 by four. So it gives you 100. And then just add one stitch for this side and one stitch for this side. So in total, it is 102. And once you have chained 102, do more chains, do two more chains to help you establish your first stitch and then do half double crochets all the way through. So as an example here, uh, here I have done 102 chains to start front or back panel and just holding the finger on the last chain here, doing two additional ones and then starting to create the first row by doing half double crochets all the way through. And as I mentioned, uh, feel free to add more flowers either in rows or columns if you wish to create a bigger size because uh, there are no borders for that. And uh, yeah, just keep in mind that this creation that I'm working on, it's going to be for size small to medium. So just keeping that in mind in case you have to adjust size for your own. So just add flowers if it's needed, either in length or in width and adjust it how it works for you the best. Here I have prepared all of the panels. So we have one for each sleeve. And then we have one for back and one for front. And now it's time for us to connect them. To do that, I will first be laying out all the panels on the floor. So it makes more sense on like what goes where. So I'm connecting all the parts in the right way. And first I will be connecting front and back panels. And I will be doing that from the shoulder part. And also I will try to leave approximately uh, two flowers for the for the neck and then once that's connected uh, I will proceed further with connecting the sleeves on each side here you just have to remember to connect it right in the middle and then once that's done I will be connecting the bottom of the sleeve and then also the sides for the front and back panels and uh, to do that, I will be using a simple slip stitch and just going all the way through, through the connection parts. So here is the final product. And in my opinion, it turned out super great and it looks so, so beautiful. And I'm so happy with the outcome. And uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video as well. And I hope that this tutorial is going to be helpful for you and that you are going to try to replicate it as well. And if you have any questions, then just feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to help you as much as possible from there. And if you did enjoy this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and I will see you in the next videos. Bye!